Hey, what's up, YouTube? Long time no post. Uh, been a little bit busy lately. Apologies for that. Uh, but super excited for this one. Uh, arrived in the mail this week. A racing slammer shift knob. Ordered this one on the uh, 1st of June, I think it was. Um, and this is a, a custom order in the red satin finish. Uh, so racing says about uh, five to six weeks for custom orders. Um, mine arrived in four. Shipped all the way from the USA, so thank you very much, uh, Racing. Did a wonderful job getting it here in time. Uh, so I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing today, and then also installation. Um, it looks fairly simple from the instructions online, so let's see how it goes. Sorry, I should mention the first thing you notice uh, when you hold this box is how goddamn heavy it is, um, which is going to be awesome. Nice little uh, racing logo on the foam there. Everything just screams quality, even when you're opening the box. It's fantastic. Enjoy the drive. I'm not sure what this is. Let's check it out. Ah, oh, sticker. What's in it? The racing sticker here. Little message from Jarrett. Also, uh, shout out to Jared as well from racing. Um, after uh, it's been about a week or so, and I emailed him and said, "Oh, uh, you know, where's my shipment email?" Um, and he kindly reminded me that custom orders are five to six weeks. So, apologies, Jared. I didn't read that in the original email. But thank you very much for getting back to me so quickly. Receipt for purchase. All right, here we go. All its glory packaged really really well so we've got the adapter here and a little uh, download your instruction guide which I've already done and had a look at so even the adapter just screams quality nice little racing logo on there perfect alright a moment of truth now firstly I must say I was in two minds about which finish, which colour to get. I was looking at the texture finish in the black because the red, I think, was just too red to match the uh, the red inserts here in the uh, Special Edition WRX. It's the same colour as the STIs. So I saw an Instagram picture uh, from Racing, uh, the first one they posted of the, the red satin finish on the Slammer and it looked pretty good so here we go let's try it out beautiful beautiful finish and let me just show you quickly look at the color you couldn't get much better than that it's almost as though this this shift knob was made for an STI or a WX special edition which has the STI interior so, let's see if I can get a bit closer for this finish for you. I got the gate engraving for the WRX, which is optional, you don't have to get an engraving, um, but I think it looks really, really cool. And this, I didn't want a really glossy, smooth finish, and this looks to be perfect. It's got just enough of a grip on it so to not to be too glossy but then not to be crazy textured as well so wow really really happy especially with the colour it's going to look amazing and it's oh, so heavy it's going to be so good alright let's go with the installation Get the old shift knob off let's do a bit of a comparison for you size wise so they're not too dissimilar in size, slightly different shape of course, but the size isn't too much different. Slightly bigger diameter I'd say on the racing, but not crazy.
the adapter. Now, what we need to do for this is have a 15 mil spanner and according to the instructions a 4 mil Allen key which I have right here for the adjuster so that's perfect so slot this bad boy on it also mentions in the instructions um, to use blue Loctite. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's, uh, it's like a thread glue. So it's a blue thread glue. It's almost like the blue uh, PVC piping glue that you would use in plumbing. Uh, I'm not actually putting that on right now, not for this video. Um, I just want to get it on there um, and install to show you guys. Um, but we'll potentially look at doing that later. So get this on nice and tight, the adapter, not crazy tight, you don't want to be damaging anything, and what we might do is we might whack it into gear, so it doesn't move around as much, I'll put it in third. Now for this adapter here, this here is to allow for adjustment, so that when you screw it on, if it ends up being crooked, you can actually take it back off, adjust this a little bit, so that you get the nice tight alignment like that. So what we need to do is put it all the way down so that we know that it's fixed and then on the instructions it says one full turn back the other way so you've got enough room for adjustment so if we give it one full spin all the way back like that. Let's see how it goes. So we're completely upside down. So let's say what we could do is one half turn. Unless I've just completely stuffed up my turn underneath. We'll give it one half turn. It's actually going to be pretty good, I think, because by the time I tighten it, it'll be straight. That looks pretty good. Second attempt. Straight away it feels good, even without driving. Just that extra weight. You still get that notchy sound, which I actually like in the WRX, but the, the shifting into gears, wow, makes a huge difference. And I think that colour looks really, really good. Like I mentioned, it matches this red accent of the, uh, the STI really well. I guess the only thing to note if you're looking at these, uh, is the, the cold in winter and the hot in summer. Um, our winters here in Australia don't really get that cold, so it's not going to be a problem um, for the early mornings. It'll be a little bit cold, but it won't take long to warm up. The summers, on the other hand, uh, here in Adelaide, we get um, potentially you know, two or three weeks of consistent around 40 degrees, so that's you know just over the 100 uh, for you guys in the US. Um, and so <laughs> those days I think this is going to get pretty damn hot, but what I'll probably do is get maybe uh, 
some sort of shift knot booty or a, even an old, old sock, cut that, whack it over here when I'm leaving it anywhere near the sun. Um, and also, you know, I can leave that on there when I first get in the car as well, so I don't actually give myself blisters on my hand. But it's a small price to pay for the weight, the feeling of it, and the look as well. I think it looks really, really good. I'm going to get some nice photos and put it on the uh, Instagram account. So yeah, there you go folks, that was actually um, quite a simple install, um, I thought I'd probably have to do a lot more adjusting, but the instructions are really good, um, make sure you get that that full turn um, before you put the knob on so that you can uh, quite easily adjust it later, and uh, I'll get some footage hopefully soon when I go for a bit of a drive, and uh, let you know how it feels actually on the road, um, but like I said before, straight away feels amazing so I'm really looking forward to getting out on the road and giving it a crack so we'll do that okay we're back in the car and uh, we're ready to go for a drive I've got the beautiful Jasmine Mahala here with me she's gonna film yes. very very steady hand you said it doesn't have to be that steady well, it kind of needs to be a little bit steady, otherwise I can't upload it, can I? We're going to get some breakfast, and uh, it's a good opportunity for Jazz to film me with my new Slammer. My racing custom red satin Slammer. She's a big fan of the R, apparently. You'd probably rather it pink, right? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Subaru, here's a note for you. In 2019, when you start developing the new models, Perhaps put some pink yeah, accents yeah. in the car. I think it's, it's been the number one complaint of Jasmine ever since I bought this car is no. that there's no pink. Well, that's kind of pink up there because it's. Yeah, but that's the SJ Automotive sticker. That's not Subaru. <laughs> so if you want to appeal to a very, very, very niche market, i.e., my daughter, then produce some become... pink. Pr produce some pink accents yeah, in the should next. Become... I wish I had to do since I should. Rainbow colours. Rainbow colours. Alright, so you got pink and you got rainbow to work on Subaru. And you might sell one in about 10 years time when she's old enough to drive a car. Well, I thought, wait. No, no. Sorry, six years. I know she's going to correct me because she always corrects me. No, I mean like, no, but in the future they're probably going to make cars where you just like on your phone and just drive. Yeah, self-driving cars. They've yeah. already got them. Oh my god. So Subaru, if you do self-driving cars, pink and rainbow and you'll have a sale. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, I'll probably have to pay for it though. <laughs> Unless they get a really cool job. Like a movie director. A movie director? <laughs> Alright, well it's your turn to do some directing. Yes. You ready? Yes. Alright, let's go get some breakfast and let me talk for a little bit. Okay. So do I just keep it on there and then on your face sometimes? Or just on here? Yeah, mainly on here. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so this is the... It's called a gear shift. It's the shift knob. Yeah. Gear shift knob. Gear shift knob, okay. That's it. Ooh. Look how fancy it is. Alright, so straight away, the first thing you notice is how much easier it moves between gears because of the extra weight in this one. I can't remember exactly what the weight is. I'll uh, link to everything in the description below the video, um, but it is a lot heavier than the OEM shift knob. Can I just say something? You can say something. You should buy this. Buy this you should car. buy what? You should buy this car, guys. It's awesome. It's not for sale. Yeah, but you should like buy another model of it. It's really cool. Princess is not for sale. Oh yeah, you can buy another model. <laughs> he calls his car Princess. It's like, because like I heard him say that I'm the second. There is a saying that goes, first is the worst, second is the best, third is the one with the golden dress. The golden dress? The golden dress. Yeah. Mom, uh, uh, who what about is? a pink dress? No, but I'm the second, the best. So the best. I don't know okay. who's third, like Lola? Mum? Lola, Lola, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't see this. Alright, 
So let me just finish this off. Okay. So, like I said, much easier. Uh, in that, actually, the whole the whole shifting experience is a lot smoother with this extra weight. I'm really surprised how much difference it makes. So yeah, I'm very very happy. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, the colour is perfect for this uh, particular model, and for all you guys that have got STIs and have the red accents. weight is fantastic it feels really good and the finish the satin finish yeah. not 100% glossy but not crazy textured so it's a really really good finish yeah. very very happy what do you think Jasmine I like it especially like the R yes we know you're a fan of the R I like it kind of looks like a balloon looks like a what a balloon a balloon <laughs> balloon yeah, yeah well kind of because it's like but it just gets too flat at the top guys um, very quick unboxing install and then uh, a quick test when we're gonna go and get some breakfast breakfast what do you want Jasmine don't know uh, okay we should probably get pancakes pancakes or there. waffles waffles pancakes or waffles okay and uh, yeah so thanks for watching and uh, hopefully it won't be too long before I do another one um, have a service in October so a few months away and I'm hoping to get say air contact tune at the same time and give us a little bit more power and if I do that then obviously there'll be a there'll be a dyno run as well um, and so hopefully I'll be able to film a bit of that and um, also I'm going to link to the new Instagram account that I've got uh, Subi underscore you've got Roo. another one yes I have another you one. have three yes three I know it's amazing isn't it I bought one it's like a full-time job managing three Instagram accounts you should just quit your job and just do that. Well, if it paid me money, I would. Okay. Anyway, thank you for the interruption once again. Hey, you're the same. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to link to that on the YouTube channel as well. That's an Instagram account purely dedicated to this car and the build um, in the years to come. Um, <laughs> when I get some more money <laughs> to spend. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching. Oh. And, uh, oh, what? What, Jasmine? What? Come check out my channel. Oh uh, yeah, Jasmine Mahala. I'll put a link in the uh, <laughs> description of the video. And uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a bunch of uh, you know like doll, yeah, doll yeah, videos, yeah, 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 yeah. toy reviews, and all that kind of cool stuff. Yeah, I want to get this doll, but it's like eighty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. We'll talk about that on your channel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. What do I press? Peace. What do I press? Hmm? What do I press? The red button. Okay. Bye.